Happy Thanksgiving from Crack.com. No news is good news, so here's the bad news. Michael Vick has begun serving prison time before his sentencing in an apparent admission of guilt and an attempt to speed his return to professional football. Vick denies this, however, claiming that he's merely attempting to speed his return to illegal dogfighting. After months of debate, New York's Governor Elliot Spitzer has announced that the subway fare of $2 will not be raised until at least 2009. In response, New York turnstiles have now gone on strike. A new study from the American Medical Association shows that people who wear a pedometer walk an average of 2,000 more steps per day than people who don't. When asked just how they measured the steps taken by people with no pedometers, scientists mumbled something about a schmedometer and then asked to change the topic as quickly as possible. Let's go now to our weather girl, Lauren Stevanovich. Thanks, Lex. Wait, did you say weather girl? I thought this was a job for the feather girl. Well, I had a whole thing prepared about birds and Native Americans and pillows. Weather, uh... Gonna rain. Back to you, Lex. Thanks, Lauren. That was insightful. In a Thanksgiving tradition, President Bush has pardoned two turkeys named May and Flower in advance of tomorrow's holiday. This brings the total number of turkeys Bush has pardoned to three. Mormon polygamous sect leader Warren Jeffs has been sentenced to five years to life in prison for arranging the marriage of a minor. A spokesman for Jeffs told Cracked he believes that his client's unique background leaves him, quote, quite mentally prepared for prison, especially the part about being lots of men's bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the plastic surgeon who operated on Kanye West's mother the day before she died walked off the set of CNN's Larry King Live earlier this week, telling King that he had important medical business to take care of, namely, killing other patients. Nancy Grace, who gave birth to twins earlier this month, has been hospitalized with blood clots in her lungs. A spokesman for God said, yeah, that sounds about right. Dennis Quaid's newborn twins are recovering this week from a tragic mix-up at Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles that resulted in their accidental poisoning. Though the twins are expected to make a uh, full recovery, our hopes and prayers do remain with little Thomas and Zoe. Other babies were also poisoned, but unfortunately, none of them were the children of famous people. A spokesman for God said, My bad, I was aiming for Nancy Grace's kids. That's it for the news on Cracked. Tune in again tomorrow, or just watch this episode again and again while you eat your turkey.